Hi, Jonathan Pickup. I'm going to have a quick look at this tool here, the Connect Combine tool. It's a great little tool and it allows you to join these objects together, even join all of these ones together and it also works on roof faces as well. Here's two roofs I've joined together. Now if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it really helps other people to find these videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and click on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new movie. Now if you really found this video useful for you, why not give me a super thanks to say thank you for doing a good job. Well let's get started. Let's have a look at this tool here. It's the Connect Combine tool and it has four modes to start with. The Single Connect, the Dual Object Connect, the Connect and Combine and then the Multiple Object. It also has two modes to deal with roof faces. And these two modes here actually are related to these, so you do have to be aware which ones of these you're using. Let's start with the easy one. This one, the single connect. Now what you'll find is that when we try to connect that to there, it'll only draw the one line. If we use the dual object mode, we can draw those two together and it'll actually drag them together. Let's just undo those two. Now this is a really cool one here. This is the connect combine the dual object connect combine so when you join those together you'll notice this white area here is filled in because of my default preferences down here and so you'll notice that it actually creates and joins those parts together and so it's a great way of joining lines together to create a complex polygon shape back to our connect combine tool now the fourth mode is really what I've got these lines here drawn for so the first trick is you select the boundary object and then you click on every line that you want to join to that. And so on. Let's just undo that. So that's the fourth mode. This one here. This is great when you're drawing an elevation. You want these lines to draw together or to connect together. It's a really cool one. So I tend to use these two quite a lot. This one here joining to a corner and this one where you actually join them and combine them together. I've got here a couple of roof faces. You can see them there, two roof faces. They're quite shallow pitched roofs, but they're still pitched roofs. So when we select this mode here to join the roofs together, and we click on that face and click on that face, we get a connect combine failed. And the reason for that is because of this mode. If we go back to the first mode and do it again, so join that to that, you notice it's only joined one of my faces together. Let's try, try the dual mode. So click on the first one, click on the second, and it's joined the two together. Now the reason it's joined them together like this is because they are different pitches. One is 12 degrees, I think, and the other one is 8 degrees. So they do join together like that. Now ordinarily, you'd cut this part of the roof off. I would use the clip tool to do that and you can just clip that piece away and then we've got a proper join for our roof. You can see that's how the way it should have joined. But it's quick to just go over it and redo it. So let's undo that. Now the other thing I have noticed with this when we've done the connect and combine, so if we do this we've done the single one, the dual one when we try and join those together it fails because it doesn't like combining those two together. Now this really relates to the vertical cut at the top, how they join together in the vertical sense, rather than how they join in the plan view. So back to this one. Now one of the things I have noticed, if we go back to the first mode and we join this one to there, and then you want to join this one to this one again, you'll notice that you don't have the ability to select the first roof again until you move to the outside edge and then you can do it. And again, remember what I said where you just use the clip tool and just clip away the portion of that roof. So one of the things I have noticed once I've used this Connect Combine tool is that it's very difficult for me to select my roof faces from this point onwards. So as soon as I move below that point, suddenly I can start to select my roof face. This one here, you notice as soon as I move between the valley, move away from the valley, I can then start to select that particular object there. And this one I can select it there. So you might find it tricky to select the roofs. Just remember what I've said, that if you want to come down the roof a little bit, then you'll find it easier to select the roofs.